my name is Lawrence, and in this demo video I'm going to walk you through the quick start allowing you to build an end-to-end -end, lightweight M2M application within minutes. So let's get started. So to start off create an account on eu.iot.avsystem.com and once you create an account it looks something like this. Next up is go to our IoT developer zone, which is our central hub for all our documentation. And in this demo, I'll walk you through the specific quick start. And in this quick start, we are going to simulate a lightweight end-to-end -end device and run it on our local machine. So um, if you scroll down here, then you actually find the examples for Linux, Mac or Windows. So in my case, I'm using a Mac, so let's get started there. So we open up our terminal. So first I'm installing the required dependency, which is CMake and Embed TLS. And next up, well, it's up to you on how to want to organize, but I prefer to create a new directory called AV system and open that specific directory. And within this directory, I'm going to clone the NJ demo client. And NJ is the lightweight M2M SDK that includes the client that runs on local devices. And this client communicates with a lightweight M2M server and adhere adheres to the lightweight M2M specification. So we're cloning this GitHub repository and um, I'm directly compiling the demo client. So that will take a few seconds and after a while you can see that the um, target demo has been built. So we go back to our device and inventory within Coyote IoT device management and we are going to click the button add device. So we are interested in the NJ Lightweight M2M demo. So we click here and what we're interested in is this specific string that we need to paste into our, um, uh, into our terminal. So let's start doing so and this will automatically start activating the, um, the demo client on our local machine and it will connect it to the specific URL as defined in this uh, output string. So let's click go to device and here we find the connected device. So we can directly see that it's registered um, and here you see some further metadata. And this is all simulated, including kind of fake GPS locations, but at least it gives you an idea on how this lightweight M2M application could look like. So the interesting part about lightweight M2M is that it comes with standardized server commands and it allows you to simplify device management. And here you have all of the defined objects that are part of this simulated example. Um, and it also has some data that's sent, including the location. So you can see the latitude and the longitude. Uh, but for example, also the temperature data. So what's part of light, the Lightweight M2M protocol is that we can initiate specific server operations. And it means that from the server side, we can instruct the device on the frequency it needs to send its telemetry data. So for example, the temperature, I want to observe this specific object every so often. So I can click the three dots here and I can set an observation. Let's say I want it to send an update at least every five minutes, but not more than every one minute. Um, so we can set this up, we click save, and this automatically instructs the device on the certain behavior it needs to execute. So this is all you need to know for now. With this demo client, you can quickly create an end-to-end -end lightweight M2M application using the demo NJ uh, sample that you run on your local machine. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Lawrence, and I hope to see you on our platform shortly.